Good happy Thursday morning, March 12, 2020. I'm Riley King, and welcome to my morning news report right here on the Riley King Network. Let's begin. Drastic measures issued globally as pandemic takes hold. U.S. now has the eighth highest number of cases in the world. The World Health Organization declared the coronavirus as a global pandemic at a press conference on Wednesday, leading to a succeed of new actions and measures taken around the world to combat the virus. President Donald Trump announced in an evening address from the Oval Office that the United States will be restricting passenger travel from 26 European nations for the next 30 days. The National Basketball Association became the first professional sports league to suspend play for the season after a player tested positive for the coronavirus before a game causing both major league baseball and the National Hockey League to weigh their opposition going forward. California governor, meanwhile, issued a statement ordering gatherings with 250 people or more to be restricted or canceled until at least the end of March. At least 120,000 people globally have tested positive for the novel norovirus. But while cases are appearing to subside in China, where the outbreak begins, they are spiking elsewhere as it begins to take hold on other con continents, with 1,311 cases confirmed in the United States as of Wednesday night. The U.S. now has the eighth heightened number of cases worldwide. Today's biggest development. President Trump limits travel from Europe for 30 days. NBA suspends season after player contracts coronavirus. California and Oregon ban gatherings of more than 250 people. State Department urges Americans to reconsider travel abroad. Tom Hanks and White Rita test positive for coronavirus. And that does it for my morning news report right here on the Riot Lake King Network. I hope you all have a great rest of your day. And I'll see you back here later on today for another news report. Goodbye, everyone.